Welcome to another exciting episode of Z Scale Scotty. As you can see from the layout, we're making substantial progress on the track. It's almost done, with the exception of just a few more lines of the marshalling yard over here. Well, we got all of the switches installed here for the mainline switching and passing tracks. We've got two locomotives running at the moment. We have the new American Z Lines SD70M Norfolk and Southern, as well as the Chessie system on the mountain line, which is currently running like a champ and pulling five cars up the hill. I'll give you guys just a few minutes of footage here. See how well everything is running. It takes a lot of work. You gotta keep the track clean, the cars clean. I've recently taken all of the wheels off the cars that are on the Chessie train right now and soaked them in isopropyl alcohol and scrubbed them with a toothbrush and put them back on to reduce the rolling resistance. And as you can see, it's running great. And what called my attention to it was the Chessie system had so much debris on the wheels, the caboose was bouncing as it rolled. And I just want to give you guys an example of the difference in the power consumption between an American Z-Lines locomotive and Old Faithful Marklin. Over here are the two transformers that I've got. I've got one of each. And if you can see the blue one, which is running the mountain line is at a very low power setting and the newer transformer which is powering the SD70 is running at almost 75 percent okay our last video timed out because I took too long to switch out the trains but this will give you guys an idea of the multi-train operation that we are now capable of one of the interesting things I did with the switch yard is being able to run this inner loop and take it through the inner passing lane while the train that's on the outer loop crosses through all three switch tracks to come into the inner passing track. And you can see them coming through at the same time. And they cross through and they never intersect. So I'm really pleased with the way that worked out. And then, of course, we have the mountain line with the Chessie system running on it. Pulling like a champ with five cars. And in case you missed the first part of this two-part video, we regrettably have had to have a funeral for the Denver and Rio Grande Marklin ABA set. One of the units quit running. One of them works like a champ, but it won't pull with only one of them working. So I'm having to return it back to Marklin. I thought about just cutting the wire that connects the two, but of course that would invalidate my warranty. And I'm probably overlooking something simple, like it just needs some new brushes or something like that. But since it is still under Marklin, it's warranty, we have to send it back to the factory let them take a look at it. And this will be yet another brand new Marklin locomotive that has had to be sent back to the factory to be reevaluated and repaired. So far, I've been really impressed with the American Z Lines SD70M Norfolk and Southern, which I mentioned in a previous video is a personal favorite of mine because they run right beside my house, literally a hundred yards from here, I can walk outside and take a look at this locomotive. It is beautiful and it seems to pull like a champ so far. I haven't had any issues with it other than the fact that it has a high power consumption. I have to run it at about 75 percent power to get it to go about the same speed as these other locomotives. 
But we're making progress here. We've got this switching yard is complete on the main lines. And I've started the switching yard over here. Got some of the bumpers on the end pieces. There will be parking cars. I know you see a lot of cutouts in the grass mat that I put in here. There's places where there were bubbles in the mat that I absolutely could not get out. So I just cut the entire section out. And of course, we'll fill that in eventually with Woodland Scenics textures. Got a lot more houses and trees to get. But we are making progress. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe to my channel.